What happens when you put a ball on a turntable and then start spinning the turntable? The ball goes into a kind of circular motion on the plate. The ball does eventually slide off the turntable, but it takes ages. What about if we start the ball off center? Well, if we simply drop the ball onto the turntable, then it flies off. But what if I hold the ball in position so it gets up to speed and then let go? Look, when I let go, the ball just sits there. Why is that? There's a single point of contact. The ball only knows about that one point of contact. And that one point of contact is moving to the right at a certain speed. And if we assume that the force of friction is strong enough to overcome any sliding motion, and assuming that we have held on to the ball until it's brought up to speed, then we should expect it to keep spinning at that speed. There's very little air resistance because it's not moving through the air. But generally speaking, because of Newton's first law of motion, the ball should just keep spinning on the spot. And crucially, there's no force pushing the ball outwards, or inwards for that matter. 